Hey guys, this is Adam Gusso coming to you from my car on the campus of the University of Mississippi in Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, it's going to be an unusual video. Uh, it's a video that I, of the sort that I've never done in the 13 years I've done these videos. I, although I did one back in 2008, a couple in New York. I've got about 25 minutes before I've got to go and pick up my kid at school. Um, and so what I've got is I've got my song list here. I've got a gig. I've got a gig that came up tomorrow and I'm totally out of practice. I've barely touched a harp in a couple of weeks. So how do I get ready for that gig? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Uh, you know, here's my, here's my box um, with the harps sort of lined up. That's the G, A, B flat, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, and F. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to kind of do what I do. Uh, I'm not going to pay much attention to you. I may make an occasional comment. I may. I will f figure this out. Um, but um, I'm just going to kind of work through, like, maybe I'll work just through every single, a little bit of every single song. Actually, I'm going to start with a B flat. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that i got some basic chops strength. So, again, I'm not going to probably say a whole lot, although I'll point to my shirt. Um, my job sucks. You know, it's a harmonica player thing. So, and normally I would not wear my glasses, but I kind of need them at this point late in the day to, to see all the song keys. So I'm just going to start with a basic thing that I do, kind of Adam's power harp groove. And let me just say once again, I've barely played at all in two weeks. So I'm going to, and I haven't sung blues for a while now. I did a little bit in the car today. So part of what you're going to see is what's my professional standard? Like what's my baseline? Where am I unwarmed up and out of practice? Where am I? And then what can I pull it to in 25 minutes? So it's, I've got, it's like 323 and I've got till about 10 of. So that's what I'm going to do. is I don't really play much of any individual song. I'm just blowing. I'm just going through. And I want to make sure that I can play the high notes, the low notes, long notes, short notes.
very important to do a blue scale on each new harp. <laughs> Try to stay present when you're practicing. So if you're just blowing, just making loud noise, that's not sufficient. If I didn't practice today, I'd be a half a step off whatever I can do tomorrow, and I'd have less endurance. So what I'm doing is getting my chops back online. I'm, I'm activating the musculature, if you will, giving it a little more support. But if I haven't played for a while, Time to sing a little. <clears throat> I'm gonna take you downtown, put clothes on your back. Well, take you downtown, put clothes on your back. I'm gonna take you down, gonna take you downtown, put shoes on your feet, shoes, shoes on your feet, shoes on your feet, shoes on your feet, shoes, shoes, shoes on your feet. Thing you need. Gonna take you downtown. Well, take you downtown, girl. Well, take you downtown. That high uh, A flat is, I'm always trying to get up to that high A flat. Well, take you downtown. Gotta be careful not to push too hard at first when you're singing. Of course, I'm going to do some of Alan's. What do we have? You don't have to go. I don't do you don't have to go very much, but I think I might do that. <laughs> Actually, often I, us I usually do Good Morning Little Schoolgirl early in a set. So that's sort of, you know, that's these are sort of some songs that we've done for years. Good morning, little schoolgirl. Morning, little schoolgirl. Can I go home? Can I go home? Can I go home with you? I tell your mama and your papa I'm a little schoolboy too. Good morning, little schoolgirl. Good morning, little schoolgirl. Can I go home? Can I go home? Going for the four down below. Can I go home? Can I go home with you? Sometimes I'll stop in the middle, work on some little thing. Tell your mama and your papa I'm a little schoolboy too. Now I'm suddenly wanting to play in the key of G a song that I haven't done for a while that I really love. Actually, a couple of different songs in G. Cry For Me Baby is a song with a... I think I'm going to do actually 
Matchbox Blues. I have a, key, a song in G, so I'm using a C harp. So when I'm when I'm when I'm playing this song, what I'm listening for is I'm listening for the feel. I mean, I have to get the blues notes right, obviously, and I have to make sure I can remember the verses. And on this one, so I haven't done given any thought to the singing. I'm just going to and I, and I have to stop and remember. Um, <laughs> what are the, what are the verses the, in order? There's three verses that I always sing, but it's been a while since I've sung them. Well, I dreamed I got, well, I dreamed that I got lucky. I'm out, of, I'm out of pitch. Partly because I was just in the key, I was up a whole step. Well, well, I dreamed that I got lucky. Much better. But I woke up cold in hand. You know? So the, the, the throat pops help. So what I'm doing there is I'm trying to make sure that I can hit that high G in pitch. What bum? But she loves loves another man. Oh. So a lot of this harmonica players is about Gusso's vocals, which are really the thing that are going to degrade first in some way. My 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 average level on the harp is going to be high enough that unless my fellow pros are out there or you are out there, you, you know, you'll hear the stuff that's not quite kicking, but it's in the singing where the, if your intonation's off... <clears throat> well, I dream that I got lucky. That's not good. <clears throat> well, I dream... And of course, I'm not warmed up. I'm a little hoarse. you got to be careful. I'm tending to push a little too hard. That's that's the conversation with myself. Well, I dream... Well, I dream... Dream... <clears throat> and that's the flat seventh up there. <clears throat> well... I dream that I got lucky and I want to make sure I'm down e and that cough, cough, tailing off the vocal note with a cough I'm, 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 I'm talking too much well I dream that I got lucky but I woke up cold in hand you know I dream that I got lucky but I woke up cold in hand. You know I dream the girl of me, but she loves another man. So sometimes, sometimes what you're doing is you're pushing and then you're learning how to ease back and get a better sound by backing off the throttle a little bit. Let's try something totally different. So sometimes if I'm in a mellow mood, <clears throat> key of it's an E flat harp. E flat harp. Every day I have the blues. Now of course I'm doing all the ones that have me singing, not the ones that Alan would do, but how about this? <laughs> one. A two. A one, two. <laughs> Hey. 
Every day, day I have the blues. Every day, day I have the blues. Well, when you see me worried, you I hate to lose. Every day, day I have the blues. Every day, day I have the blues. Well, when you see me worried, you I hate to lose. I'm gonna pack my suitcase, move on down the line. I'm gonna pack my suitcase, move on down the line. Well, I know you don't love me. Who you ain't crying. I didn't like the who. Well, I know you don't love me. You. <clears throat> Well, I know you don't love me. No, you ain't crying. Melodic choice. So, so, you know, I normally, playing would not have gone up to that high riff. That's a, this is a more laid back tune. So part of what I'm doing here is simply making sure that if it occurs to me that I, that I want to play a certain riff, that I can just pull it out of the hat. Um, and so there's actually a certain kind of riff that I often will warm up a little bit on. Good, 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 good. I like that improvisational thing. Let's pause for the cause for one sec. Man. All right. Totally different song. That's in the key of D on a G harp. It's one of the few songs I use a G harp on. Again, I'm working on the stuff that I sing. There's a lot of things, obviously, where Alan is singing, where I'm kind of just backing him up. Um, so this is when we want to... If we got an audience that's not just about blues, but might like a country tune, then we do this Hank Williams tune. And uh, the timing's hard on this. Yeah. Well, I can't. Well, I don't always mess up the. Oh, well, well, I can. Well, I can get you off of my, get you off of my mind. Well, I can get you off of my mind. Wish I had watermelon slims, low notes, <clears throat> an octave down from that, I'm sure. When I, when I try, so there I'm really trying to get from the fifth to the major sixth to the octave, the, just the note. As opposed to, well, I can, and I'm trying to hit everyone on, and it's tough. It's, tough. it's a tough tune for me. Well, I can't, but what I can tell you is, if I hadn't done it today, it would be worse tomorrow. So I'm trying to get the bad notes out of the way. That's one way to think about a woodshed session. Well, I can get you off of my mind much better. When I try, I'm just wasting my time. I'm always trying to figure out how much of it is a head voice and how much of it is a belt. I could do a head voice. Well, I can. 
it's really hard to get that high note if it's only a head voice, though. Well, I can't get you off of... Can't get you off of my mind. As opposed to... Well, I can't... <clears throat> can't get you off of my mind. When I, when I try, I'm just wasting my time. And I'm trying to go... In my time, well, I try and I try, and all night long I cry, going up to that fifth up above. And all night, all night long I cry, because I can't get you off of my mind. A little melodic trouble there. sucks. All right. So Alan's going to want to do some tunes. Rock me, baby. Bar blues. Yeah, doesn't feel right. Um, let's do. Ah, that's what I want to do. <clears throat> count it, count it off. One, two, one. for you almost every night I cried myself to sleep everybody else is happy but I weep 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 well these tears 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 why won't they let me be Well, I wish just for once, baby, you would cry for me. And I'm always trying to get that high G, baby, you would cry for me. <clears throat> now, what's the second verse? Oh, and that's half of what this is about. Almost every night, I cry myself to sleep. Everybody else is happy, but I weep, weep, weep. Mm. Damn it. I can't remember. The, isn't there another, there's another verse? What the hell? God.
Yeah. Look, I don't have much time. Jesus, I got about literally about three minutes. What am I gonna do? What's something cut? Alligator boogaloo? Yeah, alligator boogaloo. back and practice it tomorrow. Wow. That's all right, Mama. How about that? We're going to do That's All Right, Mama. Everybody, we have a song by Elvis Presley and uh, Arthur Big Boy Crudup. It's called That's All Right. <clears throat> Here we go, Alan. for you. <clears throat> well, that's all right for you. <clears throat> well, that's all right now, mama, any way you do, but that's all right. Now, now I've got to start remembering what John Namath told me, which is don't push it so hard because <clears throat> I'm just, I'm, I'm working my voice too hard. Well, <clears throat> well, that's all right now, mama, well, that's all right for you. Well, that's all right now, mama, any way you do. Because if you push too hard, then I'll reach for those notes tomorrow, and the high note won't be there. That, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I've got a little phlegm in there, huh? <clears throat> well, well. That, that's all right now, Mama. Whoa, bet. Whoa, like something opens up. <clears throat> well, that's all right now, Mama. Tara, my voice is totally out of control. That's all right now, Mama. That's all right for you. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> That's all right now, Mama. Anyway, you who do. It's a strange melodic line that I kind of halfway invented. Anyway, you do. Hmm. It's time, folks. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed that. I, I might do a version of this again. Um, I did not even get a chance to do, you know. Roads, try to flag a ride. Mm. I went down to the crossroads, tried to flag a ride. So one thing I'm just gonna that's enough for now. That's enough for now, but I want to say one thing that's important <clears throat> is that at no point 
in the course of this practice session was I particularly thinking about what a musician should be thinking about, which is sort of really feeling it. I was just kind of warming up my chops, recapitulating all my song, my sort of repertoire, right? Kind of getting it back up on the on the page um, as I put away. Here's the here's the you know the stuff, right? Um, yeah. So, but but I wasn't really trying to express, and here's why: because I don't have to worry about that until tomorrow. For now, what I needed to do. Was, was worry about the, the pipes, the technique. I needed to get the song back again. Remember, I'm coming to this, this is like a first raw practice session after two weeks. So it was just to get a taste of each harp and the, and the, and the range of harps from low to high, you know, from, from uh, very different harps in your mouth. And that's really what was going on. So, uh, you know, once again, <clears throat> My job sucks. Anyway, this is uh, this is Gusso uh, on the run, trying to pick up the kid. Later.